first step in building a solar panel is to get yourself some used pole barn steel and we just have some scrap pieces here that we had or you could pick up an auction or something and just paint them a flat black we used a industrial enamel um, flat paint oil base you want to use the oil base because uh, it'll adhere to the metal good we bought some 2 by 6s for our project here and uh, we're going to rip them to four and a half inches <laughs> Make sure you drill some pilot holes so the wood won't crack on the end here. We're going to put screws in. Building the panel uh, 4 foot by 12 foot. Um, you can build it to any size you want. Now we're going to attach this inch wide strip we cut off the existing 2 by 6 before and uh, put that right in the center of the opening there right here and just uh, put a little block under it, three quarter inch, and you can just screw them right in. We got a piece of pole barn steel here, and we're just going to lay it in here on those strips on the side here. And we got the little blocks here underneath at two and a quarter inches. And then we're just going to take some screws and, and fasten that. They're self-tapping. Just put a, a little bead of silicone. Then you want to put some pot rivets through here to hold things together. This would be easier with just a, a new piece of steel or one that's long enough, but I didn't have any laying around. Okay, we're building a second solar panel here, the same size as we built our last one, that 4 by 12. And uh, this one here we're going to build to have the air come in front of the metal, between the paint on the front and the metal. And the other one's going to have the air circulating behind the metal. And we're going to do a little test to see which one's more efficient. And here we got a little 2 and a quarter inch spacer that we're going to mount here. That'll leave a 2 inch gap here so the air will come through on the front of the metal. these long strips along the side to hold the edge of the metal like on the other ones. Okay, we're going to put the half inch foil face to foam back on here. And this is the panel. We're going to be drawing the air along the front side. So we're going to leave this space on the bottom so the air can come up here and go through on this front side. So we'll just attach this down with some, uh, some nails. Okay, we're ready to install our plastic. That's what we use for our clear glazing over the top. And we got here is where we got the opening where your air is going to come into your panel and go right here under plastic because this will be all pulled tight. And this one will come out up on the top on your, your same spot here. The air will go out then into your building. We lay our uh, three quarter inch board by an inch and a half on top of here and just put in a couple of staples. I'll show you what we're going to do here in a minute. And that's just kind of holding the plastic. Then roll that plastic. Then we'll put some screws through here to hold that plastic tight. Now on the second end here, you want to make sure you stretch this plastic a little bit. Roll that up on that board. And then pull on it a little. And there we got our panel, all the plastics on it. We got the foam on the back of the panel now, the reflective side down. And if you come up here and look, um, the air is going to circulate on the back side of the metal and take the heat off the back side of the metal. That way the warm air will be circulating next to the insulation and then the metal. And we're going to see if that's more efficient. We had the solar panels up for half the winter and we tested them and the one that works best is when the air comes from underneath and runs up the front side of the panel and then back in on the top. And this is what happens to the plastic on it because it isn't UV resistant. Once it's spraying it gets like 70 degrees out. It gets all hard and brittle. So you just have to replace it every year but this plastic is really cheap. We have these panels hooked up the exact same way we hooked up the other ones. We just continued it down farther. Same up on top. So it works a lot better. It keeps our shop about 5 to 10 degrees warmer during the winter. 
They're very easy to build and very cheap and the best way again is for the air to come up in front of the panel next to the plastic and then back in on the top.